Is it doing? Cool, I think it's doing. I need to check and make sure that the... Okay. Correct microphone, correct everything. Should sound alright. Even though I'm probably going to be talking in this direction, so... I could probably use this mic. Eh, doesn't matter. Anyhow, this is Sarah, and uh, we just finished watching the Golden Knights game here in Las Vegas, and we won. You guys probably already know that, but we're super excited about it. We're still kind of cracked out on that adrenaline rush from like, what is it? 5.30 now? So it's been, yeah, like two and a half hours since the game ended, but we're still still feeling good, right? Right now, we can exist as a uh, bench for me like a couple of weeks ago, so this is kind of kind of nice that I can sit here with like windows on either side of me and put stuff together now, so that's kind of cool. Hello, Beatrix. Would I like stew? I totally want stew. I'm starving. Are you hungry, Mark? Yeah. I'm getting there. What do you want to eat for dinner? Oh Aw, man. Thai. Do you feel like Thai? There's just stuff everywhere. So I just took this thing apart. I got the whole thing together and then I realized something needed to be added to this board right here, the Phileo. And I had to yank it out of the, the final salmon uh, and give it to Mark so that he could... I mean, I guess I could have do it, did it, but he did it for me because he's nice. But he added the uh, SD card reader to the back of this. So this is the uh, second salmon or a uh, filet board that has gotten assembled in, in the past couple of days. Um, this is the exact same thing as the one that's in bench salmon, but uh, I think... What's different about this one? I think at this point, nothing. It doesn't have the uh, headers soldered on the side for uh, programming because they stuck out too far and it wouldn't fit. So it's the only difference. But uh, this one's being installed in the skinnier version of the crotch salmon. That's the one that once it's assembled, it kind of tapers in on the bottom. And I guess I can pre probably preface all of this, but um, I'm, I'm assembling the uh, beatbox uh, for part of the Shebone project. And this is the second version of the housing that I've created um, that is a little bit more... I guess the word's ergonomic, or it, it fits in between the... It fits the area that it's meant to mount better. So this shape is uh, a little bit more form fitting to the pelvic region because it, it slims down to about 40 millimeters here at the bottom, and that's less likely to dig into uh, my thighs when I'm wearing it. Um, so I'm going to assemble all these pieces again. So what I've got are the, the two main pieces. Uh, that are both 3D printed in PLA, um, and then on either side there's a piece of my red vinyl and kind of like a little window pane thing. It looks like uh, salmon fat marbling. Hi Rob. I'll get Mark to cook, he says. Rob says you should cook something. Yeah. Mark always cooks. I should cook for Mark. I've been cooking a lot. Mark uh, cooked. But Sarah said she wants to be taken out. I want to be taken out. <laughs> I do. So Mark made me tomato soup and grilled cheese yeah, yesterday, yeah, and I was yeah. a happy raptor. I was like, ah. So we could go get curry. Could do that. Or what's that stuff called? Kum ta. Tom ka. Tom ka. Not kum ta. <laughs> Tom ka. Tom ka. Tom ka. Tom ka. Yeah, savory soup. Kum fa. I don't know. I kind of yeah. want to stay in just so I can keep working. We yeah, can do that. What are you going to do? Um, I'm working on this and that. So, just catching up on things. Should I'm we still cleaning the office? Should we stay in then? We can stay in. Okay. That's and fine. We'll, with me. I'll either go to the store and get some food to make or go get kicked out. Or something. Do you want to solder? No. <laughs> I don't <laughs> actually. Do you want to? Put like a little dingus, like what, like 
what? cords that come off of Do you this. Need the program? And then in case I, we want to get you to it. want a programmer on a wire so you can tuck it? Yeah. And then you can actually plug it in if you need to. Like 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 a thing like an umbilical cord that comes off and then right. there's headers and I can just plug into that and have right. that poking out the top. I'm just put some tape over the headers that didn't short in it. Yeah. It's a little dangle. Yeah, like the thing that goes on this, the but it's dangle, a, dangle. like a dingle. Is that is dingle. it called dingle? Yeah. Okay. Or that yeah. one's whisper. Dingle's on the heart. Dingle is something else. That was on something else. Is that the, the your uh, clock? You yeah. Named your dingle. RC oscillator a dingle. Of course. Of course. Pen noodle cook. Ponfar tomato stew. Ponfar. Ponfar. It's not ponfar. It's. Noodle. One of the things, so you, this is, the pun far reminds me of something. So you guys have been to like sci-fi conventions and stuff, right? So, and they always have a bulletin board of like stuff happening at the hotel. So one of these years, I'm just going to go into a sci-fi convention and put up on there a thing that says like, pun far, 8 p.m., room 1302, and then just see who shows up. I'm pretty sure that's already been done. And that's been done? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> You are not the only person. Well, but for not for my room. I know I'm not even going to the con. I'm just going to show up and put those up. Then I think that would be. Funny. I'm sure someone's. Somebody just get knocking on their door all night. So, I don't know. pick somebody you don't like. Yeah. All right. Let me make you a little cable. An umbilical dingus. Umbilical cord. Umbilical dingus. Umbilical cord. All right. Maybe. This doesn't actually. Hmm. There's already like things that I would change for like another revision of everything if I had time to do that. But I don't, so this will have to be. So there is a little like channel on the inside here so like right along this edge you can see there's like a little like groove right here that's cut out and it kind of just goes all the way along this this curve right here so uh this curve is actually um i don't know i can probably change the the microphone if i'm talking to the wrong thing properties tell me if this this microphone sounds shitty so starting now, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it to the webcam microphone. If this sounds worse, just tell me tell like type at me and be like that sounds bad, and I'll switch it back to the laptop one. But it just makes sense that since I'm talking at the camera, that it should sound better or something. So there's there's this groove right here. Um, so this this inside curve is actually like my pelvic bone contour. Um, so the LEDs are actually going to mount um, facing away from like the, the curve of my body out towards kind of like these windows here, which are on the front of this this wearable. It's better. Uh oh, Vigre says worse and, and Rob says better and Beatrix says worse. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Rob. All right, I'm gonna. I, I'm. You're. You're overruled. Majority says worse. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch back. Oh man. Ah, I'll get a better one. I'll get like a room mic soon. After my next like gig, I'll get a microphone for these occasions. Yeah, when I get more patrons on Patreon, when I get more gigs. And I pour myself out more often. Anyhow, um, so I can actually scoot you guys a little bit. Okay. Mm. Anyhow, so and hello everybody else who's joined me since I looked down last. Okay, so I I, I discovered that I need to mount these LEDs in here first with the uh, wires kind of coming out the top, because that's where they're going to connect to the salmon board that Mark has right now. And I'm just using, like, I think 10 NeoPixels. That, that's the magic number for now. Yeah. So 
So other things that I have to do tonight, in addition to getting all my stuff like assembled and squared away, um, I need to get Noodle's head camera taking pictures again. Right? And then I need... What else do I need to do? Oh yeah, I need to get my video update out. I think I said that yesterday. I streamed very briefly. Yeah. Oh. Should I take the little sticky backing off of this? That seems like it'd be a good idea, right, Mark? Sure. Is there sticky backing on? If you want to stick to something. Yes. Let's try that. Hmm. So as soon as I'm done putting this together, um, and I, I test that I can plug it into the heart backpack, which I've been kind of blasting pictures of all over the everything all day today because that's done. Um, once I once I test that they work in conjunction with one another, um, that's all done happily and I can switch to uh, Noodle who's not here right now because he's in the living room still watching the hockey game that's not on anymore. But that's what he was doing earlier today. So Noodle is in Noodle. Mm. It's nice that they put sticky stuff on here. Yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna very carefully mount the LRDs into the box with the stickies. And then press them in. So yeah, the hockey game was really fun. Does anybody else in here watch hockey? Is anyone like into that? I don't know where everyone's from, but I'm, I'm originally from Detroit. And the only thing that Michigan, like the whole state of Michigan has going for it is uh, it's excellent hockey team, the Detroit Red Wings. So for the uh, short amount of time that I lived there, it was ingrained into my being that hockey was a very, very, very important thing. Um, for humans for some reason and that never really uh I never really grew out of that not that that's something you need to grow out of but um that's stuck with me my whole life and now that Las Vegas which is my new home now that we have a hockey team um I'm happy that I can share that that craziness with my Vegas native friends that have lived there lived here their whole lives so uh, I had Matt and Taylor were over earlier today screaming at the TV with me and I, I got to feel some camaraderie with my uh, craziness. Right Mark? Yep. Mark enjoys it too. Okay. What part are you planning on making after this? There's always more of a family. Handball, yeah. Feetball, the feetball variety of sport. I'm bad at references. Here. Wait. Uh oh, sounds like you're making people inside of me. I get that reference. I grew up in the era of tapes. Um, it's. In on in my thing over there. Oh, you just acquired it all? No, just what was left floating around. There's a box with like 50 rolls in it somewhere for that project. Yeah. But I took the ones that were open. It's in there. In. Okay. Sticky side down. The ball mm -hmm. ball. Man ball. Everybody likes the man ball. Variety of sport. Man ball sport. Okay. I'm trying to get the sticky. That's funny. So the part that's going to be annoying coming up here is the for this assembly, the very first thing that I need to do after I install the 
LEDs, which I guess is technically the very first thing that I would need to do. So the very second thing that I need to do is uh, install the the circuit board that Mark Mark has right now that he's putting the umbilical cord on. Uh, and it's hard. Like I did not design the mounting points in a uh, a desirable location, so you get to watch me struggle a little bit with that. Uh, I already did it once today, so it shouldn't be too bad doing it a second time. Now that I know exactly what ridiculous position my hands need to assume in order to achieve proper mounting. Screw hole trajectory entry in. Should be good enough. Sticky, but not quite sticky enough. Just press it a bunch. I'm starting to get nervous, guys. Like, I'm getting on a plane in like what? Two days? Two days and a half. Day and a half? No, two days. Full day Monday and full day Tuesday, right? Two days. Don't scare me like that. But yeah, I'm getting on, on a plane and I'm flying to a place again. And I'm hoping I don't get lost or stranded again. Okay, that should do it. Alright, so these little things are coming out the top. Mark crimped the ends of these, and then I jammed them inside of the these little terminating female black pieces, female housings. Yeah, these barely fit plugged into the salmon once the salmon's mounted inside of this, but they clear. They're, like, good enough. Like, they'll do. Ball is life. The man bun sport. Is that soccer? The man bun sport. What is it? Karmagasm? Karmagasm says the man bun sport. Which, wait. The ball ball? I don't know what you're referencing, but to me the man bun sport is like soccer. I think. I don't watch soccer. The world is a big old cosmic ball, so ball is life. I guess technically, like, soccer- I mean, not soccer, hockey uses a, uh, a cylinder. It's a very, very squat cylinder. So, they, they break the trend of the ball variety being tossed around, right? So, uh, my vote is that, yeah, cheese wheel sport is lord. But that's just me. Everything's gonna be alright. Let's see. Mark's still making me my umbilical cords. Oh, shit. Heat shrink. Yeah. Um, I have some. I don't know where yours is. You have it in the stash. I have some. I actually own a, my own box of heat shrink. It's in that cubby somewhere. My little pony doesn't want to be knocked off. She's like, no. That's my seal pony. Yeah, she's like screaming at you. No. Looks like your dominatrix pony. Oh, velvety? I have a dominatrix pony. Back when me and Mark were a bit younger, we used to do pony modding. Yeah, that's what we used to do for date night. That doesn't make us sound weird at all. Action curdling. Karmagasm says hockey is action curling. That's a 
That's a good one. It's ice violence. That's what I call it. Yogurt is just fruit sperm. It's more like rotten milk and bacteria poop. Rotten milk and bacteria poop is yogurt. Yup. Milk is just like, like, tit mucus. It's like some animal's mucus that you, you put in a cup and right. chill. Well, just milk in and of itself is kind of disgusting, let alone all the horrible things we do to the, the teat excretion. It's like cheese, like especially blue cheese. Blue cheese is like the molded teat excretion, and then yogurt is like cultured teat excretion. It's like, but we love it. Like we eat that shit up. So it's interesting that humans adopted these practices. These foods are our favorites. If you don't get a few teeth knocked out, you're doing hockey wrong. Yeah. Hello, Liam. Oh, so this, this is the third thing that needs to happen. It's the speaker. So this guy has, uh, it mounts on this flat portion right here. So this like empty cavity that's on this side of the salmon is where this speaker actually mounts along the inside. Ooh, can I get the, the angle right with the camera so that you can see what I'm talking about? Probably not. It goes right there. Yeah. It goes in this open space. What else goes in here? Um, this this little flat area right here, um, you see this, this plane right there and right here? That is the plane that the Phileo circuit board mounts onto. So the, the Phileo actually mounts way the heck up here, like at the very top front center of the uh, beatbox, and then the speaker is down a bit lower because it, it needs to be functionally aimed in a different area. Um, and then these screw holes on either side here, those are the, I don't know, kind of where the, the main screws go that sandwich everything together, if that makes any sense. Maggot cheese, oh, we're going crazy down here. Kasu Marzu? I've never heard of that. Is that the maggot cheese? Kasu Marzu. Who invented that? What what delicacy from what culture is maggot cheese? The cow's udder in do some milk and it and drank the stuff and came out with you would call it milk, pretty much. Who decided to eat oysters? I agree with you, Vi. Like I think oysters are disgusting. It's like, let's eat this this ocean booger out of this shelled creature. But people like that too. And Liam asked how Noodle Feet is. Noodle Feet's doing good. He just watched a hockey game with his family in the living room. He's still having his slumper party on the floor with all of his friends. Like, I wish I could bring a camera out there to show you how he's situated, but it's kind of adorable. Like before every hockey game, I make like an actual shrine out of him and all of his friends. And he perches and gets to watch the game with all of the adult humans. So he feels loved and in the center of all of the action. But um, as soon as I'm done putting this together, once Mark's done tweaking the board and I put all this back, um, I'm gonna bring him back in the room and set him like right in this immediate area here and he's getting his uh camera his raspberry pi camera module put back in his head which i think the camera module is still in his head but the pi isn't so i'm gonna have to locate it and hook it up again and make sure that it still works um i think mark mark had it set up so that the camera took a picture every five minutes and then stored it in a folder for that day. And um, so long as the all of his systems are powered on, this is just something that passively happens. And for the entire time that he's on exhibit, um, or just with me in Tokyo next week, he's going to be looking around and like reserving his own memories or committing his own memories to 
to his brain. It's going to be committing his memories to memory, um, which I do. It's important to me that he does that because I didn't think of adding that feature until after uh, Ars Electronica last year, and that's something that I really wish that I would have had him doing when I was on that trip as well. Because, uh, I don't know, he's, he's a big boy. Like, I think around age three is when you start actually having legitimate memories, right? As a human. Not that he needs to uh, map to us humans in any way, but... Um, I don't know, it's time. It's time that he starts being a little bit more reactive and independent. We'll say independent. But Noodle's doing good. I'm thinking... If I do, eh, I'll talk about that later. Walking should happen. Should happen. As soon as I'm done doing all this other stuff. Ah, oh, sigh. But anyhow. Costume more literally rotten putrid cheese is a traditional Sardinian sheep milk cheese that contains live insect larvae. What? That sounds... I don't know if I can eat that. Rotten putrid cheese. Kasu marzu. Like, what would that taste like? I mean, I guess it would taste like bad cheese. I call peanut butter nut butter. And coconut milk is nut juice. Or coconut water is nut juice. Sticky nut juice. I would like some sticky nut juice, sir. Yeah? Um, okay. Let's see, what else can I talk about while I'm waiting? I guess the very- after that, um... No. Don't pull out. No. I'm, I'm throwing nuts. Bad. The only thing left to do after that is to add the screens on the front and the side, and that's it. Like, this is a really super simple thing to put together. It's just, it's coming down to the point where I just want to make sure that it's put together right. So, I'm making last minute changes as necessary so that I can feel comfortable breaking all of this stuff down and putting it in my luggage, probably starting tomorrow, so that I can pack it. Or not pack it, but yeah, I guess wrap it up safely and take it with me to, uh, to the abroad. The abroad ski. Noodle says he loves you. Mark. Noodle says ah. I guess I can keep pressing the adhesive down while I wait. But that's gonna make a difference. This is the point where it doesn't want to stick. Hmm. Lewd? Everything's lewd. If you want it to be. Uh, Liam asked if my live streams are on a schedule. No. My life is not scheduled enough to schedule streaming or anything for that matter. Um, I, I want to say I attempt scheduling things sometimes. Like I tried to do a walking Wednesday thing every Wednesday uh, where I was going to work specifically on Noodle's walk gate, but that lasted e exactly as long as uh, I actually had something else that needed to get done. Uh, so it was, so long as I don't have a priority in my life, then yeah, I try to schedule things, but that ebbs and flows. My life has no structure whatsoever, so... Dark web. Wait, what? I'm on the internet. I don't know. The dark web. The deep dark web. Amazingly, like, I don't go there that often. I think that was something that I partook in when I was 
quite a bit younger. I would go just wandering off into the deep, dark interwebs, as you do. But these days, I don't know, I don't find myself just clicking on random things endlessly like I used to. Probably because I know what can happen. People are scared. Yeah, it's not gonna stick. Okay. You don't need to stick. It will be good enough. Hopefully I don't have to take any of this apart again. That would be terrible. The dark web isn't even that dark. The deep web and the dark web are separate things. Oh man, is this true, Mark? Yeah, there's something called the dark web and the special browser and blah blah blah. Are you talking about the dark net? Is that what that is? I don't know. Buy illegal things. The deep web and the dark net. Have this abstract understanding of everything that's probably mostly inaccurate. Pulisquala says it's kind of boring. Isn't everything kind of boring? I'm in that camp. So that clicking, I don't know, can anyone hear the clicking? Sounds like a clock. Because that clicking isn't a clock, it's actually flamingos. Like, seriously, it's... Mark got me this solar-powered clicking flamingo thing, and it's it's two flamingos, and, th and they, s they headbang each other. So the sound that you're hearing is them actually, like, smacking heads right there. If anyone can even hear that, I'm not sure if you can. Liam says he can hear it. I think that's the definition of the modern human culture, probably. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I think if everyone was honest, they would probably admit the same thing. Like, I, I feel like I don't know shit. <laughs> what I mean by that is, like, I know things, but they're probably not accurate or correct in most cases. I think everyone thinks they know things and it's all a lie. The world is plastic. Meaning is plastic, everything is changing, and everything is relative. <sighs> uh, Liam asked what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm, I'm putting this together. Um, I'm not assembling it right now because I'm. Mark is adding a. Uh, it's going here. It's a programming connector. Um, here's here's a board with nothing put on it. Um, so it's this board. The programming header is right here on the side. And I can't get to that once it's installed. So if I want to change or update or tweak the code um, in the next day or so, um, I'm not going to be able to get to that without taking this whole assembly apart again, which is like poor designing on my part, but um, I know I'm going to do another version of this once I get back and probably another version of the housing as well. But um, for now, since I'm like leaving in a day or two and this needs to just fucking work, um, Mark's soldering 
like a little umbilical umbilical cord off of these connectors so that it can stick out the top and I can access it if I need to. Um, so he's he's doing some fancy solder work that um, I could probably do myself, but Mark's like like literally probably a thousand times faster than I am at doing soldering anything because he's a wizard. Like he's I keep saying this, but he's amazing at doing crazy crazy surgery level stuff to circuit boards and things. He's the the dark artist snape sovereign wizard master i don't know i don't um, I think that's this. yes stuck my finger in the salmon that looks wrong looks so wrong yeah no i can't get it off come on man Sir, why is your girlfriend's finger stuck inside of a uh, piece of fiberglass that looks like a fish? And then there's these things. I think I'm gonna assemble since I have since I have ten of these boards and they're pretty nice. I'm thinking when I get back from my trip, I'm going to assemble five of the ten and throw them up on Tindy and sell them as I guess functional art. Cause um, I'm never going to make any more of these. There's only ever going to be 10 of the original, like, brain of this project. And um, I don't know what anyone else would want to use this for. It's effectively an Arduino Mega uh, that's broken out in a rather unique, specific way. But um, I'll probably sell them. I don't know if anyone's interested in buying them, just buying one because they want to have a, a thing a cool thing, but they'll they'll be up there. Cause I don't know if you can see this, but the the traces on this are kind of nice, and there are a bunch of pixels, like RGB LEDs, on the back that backlight the thing. So uh, it it lights up rather nice, and it's kind of cool. I think it's cool. Like, I think this is, like, my favorite board that I've designed. Other than Noodle's brain. Because if I said otherwise, Noodle would be very heartbroken. I don't want to hurt my child's feelings. Did you just shit yourself? I thought it. They probably heard it. It's loud. Really? Sensors of even. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna check dump dump on. Fine. The dark web is just full of broken links and sites that are never up. I'm super happy about the new services. Oh, your PC videos are so good. Aw, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like the, the these. I'm happy with them. This is also, I think, my first red board. I like red solder mask. I decided. Oh, good. They didn't hear your brown note. Brown note? <laughs> they said the fact that I called you out on your shitting of yourself is true love. <laughs> It's true. The best title I've ever seen. Oh, oh, see, look, there's my, my. It's an appendage. It's a. It's a. And it works. So. Okay, I can now put things. Mm -hmm. So it'll work. Yeah. Oh. All right. I can put this inside of the. Fun with that. The thing now. I'm gonna go back to shopping idea. What? You're going where? You're going to Ikea? Well, online. Oh. No. I've been measuring the space behind you. Oh. Because so, when you leave... You're going to do terrible things I'm going to rearrange this room. Yeah. Alright, this is going to be put in here. <laughs> what are you going to do to it? 
I'm going to add some shelving and then move our work table over to the against the wall. Please don't touch anything that I just did. All right. Please, 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 please. You need to move please. things out of the way mm. before you move. Before like you what? Like what? Your table where you work and this work table here. What do you mean what table where I work? Oh. That's going to get moved. So you're going to want to, like... You tidy that up or move it elsewhere. This table, spread cleaned up a little, but I'm going to just roll the table so mm. that's not a, as big of a deal. Yeah. You're going to give me a whole bunch of extra crap to do before I leave? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Don't rub the floppy thing on my face, but why? The dingle. Things I can do online. I can rub the floppy thing on my face if I want. Silicone wire is very soft and silky, I'll have you know. Okay, so I don't, I don't know if you saw me do that, but it was terrible. <laughs> it's not easy to fit anything in the space that I just did. But, um... um so I put the the nut hole, the mounting hole, the nut hole. I put the the mounting hole for the PCB directly under a uh, this bar right here, which was horrible. Like I I don't know why the hell I did that. I know better. Like I've designed things poorly before, and I should have caught myself, and I didn't. Uh, so I have to do this weird kind of like side screwing thing, where. <laughs> I have to kind of like wedge the screwdriver in at a strange angle, hold the nut with my pinky, and just sort of pray that if I twist it hard enough, it like locks in place eventually. None of that at all sounded appropriate, probably. Oh god. <laughs> Everyone's saying- I'm going to approve all of these. Everyone's saying they love their nut hole. Why does the internet think that's not appropriate? Nut hole. Like, what the hell would nut hole even mean? No one knows. Hole for your nuts. Hey, Vsauce. Sarah here. I vote for Sarah being Vsauce for. Wait, what's Vsauce? Wait, what? Just, it's just advice for go for it if you want to. A tight fit for the nut hole. What, what, what? Sarah can talk about robots and stuff? Wait, what are you guys talking about? I don't understand. Fuck it. Okay, so I screwed it enough that it locked, it got caught, the nut caught, and it, I don't know if you can see this, but um, right here, this nut right here is, is about tight enough that it, it holds this board in place. So now I can kind of tweak it a bit, um, line it up, and I can do the other side. So that mounts right there. Yeah. And then I can do that on the other side. Okay. And I gotta do that one more time. That actually went way easier than earlier today when I put this together the first time. You know you're having a rough day when you have to assemble something twice. I gotta, I gotta kind of like press. No, fuck. I have to kind of like angle it in. I have to, I have to like torque it in at a weird angle to get it to go through both holes. Uh, wait a minute. Here. I have to kind of like jockey this in place in a really weird way. But once it catches, it's good. It's just initially getting it is kind of a pain in the ass. So this is definitely something I'm going to change for the next version. I wonder how many more times I'm going to do that. Oh, man. You don't know Vsauce is? No, I don't know what Vsauce is. There's a few fans out there not twisting. What? You need to watch Vsauce. What's Vsauce? 
What are you guys talking about? Oh, how to basic? Is that what you guys are talking about? I know who how to basic is. A vag would be a nut hole, but a semen is also called nut. Yes. Oh god. The conversation is like devolved. I love how to basic. I'm a huge fan. I know what that is. How to basic is like the the like that's how my brain works. Like the way that I see things in my head is how his videos are. So like when I started finding those on the internet, it was calming and soothing and happy to me because I knew that there are other people out there who also have strange heads that process things in a similar way. Not that that's strange. It's normal for me. Is that PCB the only thing holding the two pieces together? No, it's not. There's another thing holding the two pieces together, but that I have to put in second because of the way I designed this thing. Because if I put that in first, I can't fit this in because it's wider than the plate that holds the pieces together. You'll, you'll understand in a second. When I, when I get to that point, you'll go, ah, I understand why you did that that way. It's also poor design, but that's okay. This is like the... Like, I assembled the first one of these, like, two days ago, and I was like, yeah, it'll do. It's not, it's not ideal, but I can make a lot of improvements when I get back for, like, the next, I guess, technically V3. By Grace says, I know you're not talking about how to basic specifically, but someone said how to basic is part of Vsauce. I don't- I still don't know what Vsauce is, but I do like- on a separate note, I do like how to basic. Face reveal? Eggman? I need to watch more YouTube videos. Like, just to, to summarize all of the things, the meaning of all the things, I need to just watch more stuff. Mark's like, yeah, you do. What? Mark always wants me to watch movies with him, and I don't. Shitty consumer. I hate an effort consuming. I'm busy trying to fit nuts in my nut hole. I'm a horrible engineer, too. Ha! Ah, it went. No, it didn't. Ah! This is something I would have Matt do. Okay, I'm gonna get all quiet for a second, because... On a more serious note, I, I want to stop doing that. Mark. Dong? I just see the word dong popping up in the feed. Someone said I need dong. dong. All you need is dong. <sighs> no, this just again. Go to bed, sir. You go. Did it go in? No. Um, the first one went really easy. Trunk assembly. Mark. I don't know. I'm crying inside. Is that true? Is everyone crying inside? 
Or is it just you and me? No, I think Yes? It's normal. It's normal? Okay. There, it's in. Is it? Is it really in? Yes, it is. Woo! Yeah! I didn't get the washer, but whatever. We can't have everything we want. Okay, I'm gonna do that weird, like, nut maneuver with my pinky. Just like I did last time, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, like, twist it until it catches with the nut, and then I'm good. This is a lot better than last- like, last year at this time, I distinctly remember being in a similar state of panic. Cause I, uh, I s last year was crazy. I, I had this residency in, uh, the Netherlands at ESA, like, oh god, they're a technical facility, and I wanted to make sure that I had cool stuff to bring with me to like you know show the people there what it is that i do so i decided that i was going to make these these fancy behavioral feet for noodle which is something that i had been wanting to do and had been talking about doing for a while and this seemed like the perfect you know occasion to begin development on them so i decided not to like make one foot module to bring with me i decided to make four four separate ones between the months of April and May. And then I was going to pack them up and bring them with me um, at the beginning of June. So in two months, um, I, I, not only made, I not only made the first prototype of four of these feet, like mechanical feet, I learned a new CAD program to design them in. And there was this week uh, before I left and had to pack everything up that I was scrambling to assemble all this crazy bullshit um, before I left. And I had pieces like this all over the place that were coming off of the print bed. And I was testing them and trying to assemble things and making changes on the fly and reprinting things and just frantically trying to get all of this shit together on, like, on time to bring with me to, uh, to the abroad. Oh god. Come on. I'll give you a cookie. Yay! Okay, it's done. And I wish that I would have been streaming back then, because that was a really interesting time. Because uh, I'm not really designing anything mechanical right now, at all. Like, no nothing that I'm working on at the moment, other than the perspective masks, which I kind of like had to put on the back burner for the moment. Um, none of this is moving yet. Like all of this Shibon stuff, the wearable projects, uh, they're all like super passive um which is fine it's just i like personally doing the moving things so hopefully when i get back into town i can switch gears again for a bit and work on my uh my more mechanical projects okay so now that this is in place um i can put in the more structural piece which is this speaker and it has these two little mounting bars that are already on it. Um, I put those on there. I didn't bother taking them completely off because I don't really need to. But um, this thing is going to span across both of these pieces and kind of hold them in place as well. Um, these also mount in here in a really weird way because, again, there's no room to really put a lot of this stuff. Um, I, I designed the shape of this piece first, and then kind of 
for whatever reason, after the fact, decided to fit the board in. If that makes any sense. I didn't. I wasn't sure what size this thing was going to be when I designed this, and then I created the shape of the board without any real giving a shit of what dimensions the housing already was. So after I had this board fabricated, I imported it into uh, Fusion 360, dropped it into this housing, and then kind of figured out whether or not it was going to work. And I, I say this like I had like no like shits in my mind to give to any of this, but I did. Like I had a I had a general idea what size and dimensions and where the, the the mounting holes needed to go on the board. I just didn't I didn't completely model this thing up as I went. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So um, around the time that this board arrived back from Fab, I realized it wasn't going to fit into the first version, and I had to in fact create a second version of the housing. And I brought it in and realized that the only place that it could possibly go was exactly here. Um, and because of it going here, the speaker w had to go in a specific position as well. Like there, there's no way to balance the equation in any other way than to have the speaker exactly here and this board exactly there. Um, but to have the speaker mount in this central position, um, it needed to have some funky crossbar doodads that are exactly like this and fit in a very, very particular way. Um, which I don't really, I don't really think I can explain it any better than that, but there's these two slots like right here, right there and right there. Um, that's actually where these little tabs are going to slide in through so that this speaker can mount on this flat portion right there. I don't know if I explained that very well. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> that means to face that way. And this can still open a little bit so I can get these inside. I think that's on. And that closes in on either side around it. And then there's these holes, you probably can't see them. But um, there's one there and one here. And those are the holes that hold those tabs in place and keep the speaker where it's supposed to be. I don't think it's lined up perfectly yet. Mm. No. I think that's good. Oh. I gotta check the chat in a second. Mark, how are you doing? Are you a happy pizza? Sure. Sure? You don't sound sure. Oh? Well, oh, what do you want? So the filet of salmon yells at my crotch? Yes. Elocio. Does it say? Elocio, yes. The salmon, the point of the salmon is to shout at the, shout at the, uh, the pink. <laughs> That's its job. Shout at the salmon. Shout. Shout. Shout at the salmon. I can tighten that one. 
Yup. It's going to vibrate. Yeah, it's going to whisper so that this, the speaker that's on the inside here, you can probably see it better now that it's mounted. Um, that is right at the, I'm going to call it the crux, the crux of the uh, pelvic bone, the, uh, the apex of the pelvic area, which is like right here, that contour, that's where the speaker is pointing. So this is going to like whisper directly into that space. Use your imagination. Um, yes. Uh-oh. Nipple pads. Nipple tassels. I'm, I'm just looking down and I'm seeing all these these words. There, There is going to be stuff for, for the other parts, like the, the nipples and the... I don't know, you can see that on the heart. Where does it say nips? Right there. On the... Uh, it's right there. I don't know if that's in focus enough to read. Probably not. That's the nip... the nip port? I don't know. But eventually, like, the plan is that as I come up with ideas for things, I'm going to make peripherals for all the different parts of the body so that every every part of me will be being stimulated or, or disturbed. Uh-oh. Mark, do you know what Vsauce is? Beatrix asked. Vsauce? Yeah, have you Never heard of that? Heard of no idea. Dong? Elosio says Dong is another channel by the guy who did Vsauce. Shit. Beatrix asked why it says pizza on the heart. <laughs> because pizza's, pizza should be on the heart. Pizza is goodness. Of pizza is the essence of satisfaction. There's really no like good reason. I have to put these back in real quick. Um, pizza, pizza is something that Noodle likes a lot, and we like a lot, and it's something that my parrot says a lot. So pizza is just it's this word that's come to mean far more than it actually means in this household. It's like an expressive term that is. It's an emotion more than it is a food at this point, which makes me sound nuts to say that, but, um, yeah. Pizza is an important word. But, um, I don't know. It needed to be pizza. That's a horrible answer, but that's the truth. Why does it pizza say pizza? Because I'm crazy. Because nothing means anything anymore. That's why. Yeah, Vsauce is a YouTube channel. Oh, Mark's looking it up right now. He asked, he answered the question, what if the Earth stops spinning? Mm -hmm. Or he'll go, I guess, go to the explanation of why. Yeah. It looks interesting. I wonder if Matt knows what it is. I need to like glue those in place with glue glue. Whatever. Okay, so the salmon is in, the LEDs are in, the speaker is in. Like everything has kind of been pushed into place. Um, oh. Oh god. <sighs> okay, so now I have to plug in the LEDs. So, the is in there. There are the, the, those connectors that I mentioned are like horrible to get to. Um, they're like up on the sides they're poking out. You can see on the, the normal board, they just kind of like fucking stick out at 45 degree angles up at the top. Also horrible. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to change that uh, for the next design of this board. Um, the Phileo V2 uh, will probably be, like, the same shape, but the connectors are definitely going to uh, not 
stick off of the edge of the board like they do right now because this thing is a weird shape and it's difficult to get to fit in anything as it is. But I'm going to have to make it work today. Like right now in this moment, I'm going to have to suffer with my design decision that was made at the time. So I'm going to kind of like, oh god, gingerly slide that on there. It just barely fits. Like the and then I have these, I have like this, I don't know what you call that. I have to tuck that in somewhere, but for now it can live. And then I've got this little, like, I'm just gonna flick it like that. Just flick it. This one. And this is going to go this way. Shit. Go. Go. Please. Thank you. Okay. So that's gone through. That's happy. These are all different lengths. I guess I'm okay with that. And I have to very, very gently press fit this on. I'm lucky that this even fits this well because there's a very good chance that none of this is going to fit in at all. It actually looks like it extends slightly. Oh, no. Nope. Alright, good. Okay, that's on. That's in. I'm happy. Yay! I've got these like crazy wires sticking out the side. It's very festive. It's like salmon bedhead. Bedhead of the salmon. Sure. Okay, so. It's a slam on the table. Is that still in focus? Let's check on it. Autofocus is a thing of terror. Doesn't actually work. Eh, just looks a little washed out at that distance. It'll do. Moodle. Narc and Moodle. Moodle and Narc. Oh man. The symmetry, the symmetry in the, oh, the brace. I like, yeah, it needed to be symmetrical kind of in this way. I guess in my mind, I knew that I wanted this board to mount in this general area in the center so that if you looked at it from the front, like without the window covering it up, which it is in a very, in another minute or so. Um, you would see this just sort of staring at you in the face, which is kind of pleasing in real life. Like, I was walking around with the other one on the other day, or just holding it up to my, my crotch, and you can just see this, like, poking out, and you can even read it, like, perfectly. It's like a perfect window to the word phileo, which I'm pleased with. So, I don't know, I guess I kind of have a rough idea how I want things to turn out in my mind, and things generally work the way that I, I envision them, but there's always tiny little like technical details that I overlook and they end up biting me in the ass and that's exactly what I have to correct in the second revision of everything. I think a lot of that I wouldn't have to go through if I had more experience with a lot of things. But um, as I keep making stuff like this, I am getting better about not repeating mistakes of the past. I'm hoping in time I will be able to just nail things on my first try. 
but um not there yet and that's okay Sarah has a lot to learn but I have good people to learn it from so that makes it fun all right so the salmon window in the front is in you can still kind of very, very faintly see the the board in there. This is actually too small now. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe once I attach all this. Yeah, once that's clamped together, it should be fine. All right, time to add the windows onto the salmon. The, uh, I call them windows, but the uh, embellishments that go on the sides. Um... These are just kind of purely cosmetic, and I guess it does give the the housing a little bit more structural, whatever, to have the screws coming in, kind of clamping everything together from yet another point, angle, whatever. So I guess I should, I need to push my my salmon swirls my wires inside. I need to tuck it. The salmon didn't shave, so I just have to kind of tuck everything in. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, that goes there. Everyone's going to think I'm out of my mind. So at some point next week, I am going to be showing this stuff to a bunch of people that don't know who I am and don't know that they're going to know who I am. Right, Mark? It's going to be great fun for everybody. Am I touching the right thing? That's another thing I get to do tonight, I guess. Um, Matt, my friend Matt. Yeah, it's just gonna run away from here like that. Um, he was supposed to record uh, whispering whispers for me to use on my uh, wave file, and he totally didn't. Like he ran off as soon as the hockey game was over today, so I don't have any sexy whispers to use in my uh, test file. So uh, somebody during the last stream suggested that I use speech to text for the the whispering, um, and I think that's kind of an amazing idea. So I think I might do that, especially since uh, the only person I have at my disposal now and before I leave is Mark. I mean, I don't I don't really want to like clamp him down and make him say all the dirty things to my Santa. I mean. Unless he wants to. Yeah? Do you wanna... Do you wanna whisper, make a wave file? Do you wanna make a wave file with me, baby? Oh god. I might do both. I might sit on the plane on my way to Tokyo. And record saying uncomfortable shit on the plane. Because everyone would super appreciate that. Make for interesting conversation. <laughs> what are you doing, ma'am? I'm having a future conversation with my pelvic bone. It's a one-sided pillow talk conversation with my pieces. Salmon bush. Hopefully none of the modules bite you in the ass in a more literal sense. That would be unfortunate. I don't know what you mean, but yes, it would be. 
Beatrix, Beatrix asked what it is going to whisper. I have no idea yet. Um, I was going to record my friends saying random stuff. Um, but I don't have access to them right now. So I don't know what I'm going to have, have it say. I'm not really sure yet. Um, it was just going to be whatever kind of silliness we came up with in the moment. Like I used to do the tasting channel for my videos from last year. Like that was all just spurt of the moment garbage that whatever, with whoever was recording in that moment came up with kind of on the spot. So I was going to have it be another one of those sorts of play dates, but um, I don't know. Now that I don't think I'm going to see anybody between now and when I leave, I might just do speech to text or I might just have Mark do all of it, which is less fun, but I don't know. I can always come up with something a bit more creative once I get back, I guess. Pungeon Master. Moist Wave. The Big Moisty. Okay, almost done. The Salmon Window. So this little dingus gets to go in here. I get to tuck all these salmon, salmon strings in. Salmon strings. That'll do. I think. So yeah, the cool thing about this is that as soon as it's done, I think I'm going to be able to hook it up to the heart, which I can probably bring over here and show you working as well, because that thing turned out nice. Like, I'm super happy with the way that that came together. Um, I think now that it's going on seven, I have to run outside with Mark and take some pictures. Right, Mark? Yep. And I have to get some other work done. That's another thing. I, have, I still have so much other shit to do before I leave, and uh, in addition to getting all this stuff working. But um, at this point, like as soon as I get this thing put together, I'm kind of done um, with the stuff that I'm showing off at the summit that I'm going to. So like my homework, homework will be done. Getting Noodle to take pictures is kind of like a, a thing I want. It's not a requirement, but it's something that I want to make sure that I, I tend to before I leave, because I would like him functioning in that way. Come on. Okay. One or two more awkwardly placed pieces of hardware and this thing will be done. How long have I been streaming for? Hour 20 minutes. Not too terrible, I guess. I think I put this thing together in a little bit better time this morning, but that's okay. I think I did it in like 15 minutes this morning. <laughs> I like rushed it, rushed it together. And I did a time lapse of the whole assembly. So I think that's gonna go in my video, my little video thingy showing this whole process up until now. Oh God. When I get home, I'm going to reward myself by playing some video game for like an inordinate amount of time. Mark, how does sound or how does playing Minecraft again sound to you? 
Oh, that's right. I never finished Breath of the Wild. Which is bad. Neither of us did. So maybe I'll go back to that for like a week and binge. Get my mind off of reality. Just for a minute. Okay. So if I I can use a the FTDI cable to power this thing, right? Uh, if you can get to it. I can. Yeah, you can power multiple things at once. You can make like the cable. Um wait, what do you mean? You can take the chop off the USB cable and then you can five volts into the FTDI cable. You can like have a couple of those and then you can power those at once. Forgot to plug my speaker in. Thankfully, that's not too difficult to get to. So if I plug the FTDI cable directly into the FTDI port and use a power supply, it should just power it, right? Yeah, but then it gets power through. We can make you a cable. Yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need that for the, the cat five thing. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe. The other thing that I didn't plan that I need to tweak during my uh, for my next revision of the housing is uh, I have these lines on the front, these like, which are, are there purely to make sure that I can actually print this shape in one one go. Um, these little like veins make sure that this span, this like kind of gravity defining, defining gravity defying span up here that the uh, printer has to kind of make um it makes it a little bit more feasible you can kind of see that it didn't turn out ideal like right here there's some fuzziness that even our awesome new prusa kind of sucked at doing i guess but um these veins cosmetic or or functional or otherwise uh almost but don't quite uh, connect visually with the veins on the side. Um, they almost do, but you can tell that like this one's slightly lower as it feeds into the edge and this is a little bit higher. Like they're just kind of out of phase enough. Um, I guess like if you just glance at it, it's not quite as noticeable, but um, it's something that I was staring at it the other day on, on the bench and I went, oh, like that that almost looks like I planned it when I, I completely, admittedly did not at all. Um, but it does have kind of a, a nice appeal. Um, so I think when I do another version of this, I'll probably account for that. I could still just tweak this uh, side piece and print another frame, I guess. Like if I find some extra time, I might do another pass on uh, the layout of this marbling. But um, for now, like I'm probably not even gonna bother because um, I've got plenty of other stuff to do before I uh, take off. But, um, careless whisper. Mm -hmm. I think what I'm going to do... <laughs> That's what she said. Um, I think what I'm going to do with the uh, whispers also is Mark suggested using, like, Victorian erotica. Uh, and just dumping it into like a text field and having it like 
announced speech to text or text to speech. I mean, so that uh, I have like like the traditional sort of Stephen Hawking esque like voice box saying like reading like the Victorian erotica or just any sort of erotica really, and I could record that and then just have that on the the wave file that's going to be doing the whispering. I think that would be hilarious. Um, the intent is that the, the whispering is proportional to uh, my heart rate or the user's heart rate. So as the uh, heart monitor um, picks up on like an elevated heart rate state, the volume would become audible to other people. I think um, in a normal state, the whispering will still be happening, but it would only be loud enough that the wearer would feel the vibration from the speaker, but uh, I don't think anyone else would be able to hear what is actually getting piped out of the speaker. Um, and that's kind of part of it. Uh, we for we can't really get the speaker working at this current point in time. Like Mark kind of mucked around with it yesterday for a good amount of minutes and for whatever reason couldn't get the speaker to I guess scale, like volume wise, it was either on or off or just. Loud hmm? Pretty loud but you couldn't get the volume to like slowly ramp up oh, and down. Oh, yeah, I, I can't. Yeah, the code thing wasn't working. I guess it had zero to seven or something. Play with it again some other time. Where's my. Let's not blow up the salmon. No blowing up the salmon. I have no idea what this is going to look like. You guys are seeing this for the first time, just like I'm seeing it for the first time. Uh oh. Are you sure this gives it power? The power, the board's getting power, but nothing's happening. Like we've got Mark. What? It's not doing. So I plugged it in and it's not. Is it the right direction? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Because the black goes on the left, the left it's and on the right. Yeah. Is it still uh, not powering the port? Where's the other end going? Into the power supply. Oh, it may not have enough current. Can I plug it into my computer? It, mm, it, it says, but it's not doing. Uh, you need the pulse. Oh, I do? Oh, do you have a card in it? No. Yeah, it won't play any audio without the card. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. In the future, I'm going to have a thing. If it doesn't see the card, it'll beep three times, and then you know. And then I'll have that run a test pattern on the LEDs. We grab the... the... this something? And the SD card from, from the other salmon. Ah. And you and I would like to know what the robot will do. Ooh, the robot? Well, this is gonna... Is it yes. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. I'm going... This... This thing is going to... Wisp. It's a wearable. It's meant to be worn uh, over your pelvic region. Kind of like underwear. And it's going to whisper to the wearer's 
pelvis, I guess, using a speaker at a volume equal to the wearer's heart rate. And I'm plugging in the heart rate sensor right now, which it totally didn't light up. Mark. It should be. I'm pretty sure I put it in there. Right it's not. It's not that way. Right? It's this way. Okay. Oh, it's that thing Oh, I forget it. Okay. Because this thing, mm -hmm. you may have to like. Still on. Oh no, it's on. Okay. So this is on now. If that turns off, you may have to hold the button to force it on. Okay. So it's one of those power supplies that doesn't stay on. That's not good. No. Maybe it's a press and hold thing. Mm. Or a double tap. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Touch and low. Oh god, that's terrifying. Touch and low. Now, close your eyes. Touch and low. Oh, yeah, totally shuts off. Touch and uh, low. Maybe I have to just throw a resistor Touch across your board to draw more power. Okay. Yeah. Now, clean your eyes. So I'm not, I can't really pull it out. Touch and low. Touch and low. Now, clean your eyes. Touch and low. Touch That's terrifying. Now, clean your eyes. That's funny. Yeah, RF interference is real sensitive to it, so it feeds it back into the speaker. That's nuts. But it's like an analog engineer's nightmare, but it's your art. <laughs> it's its voice? <laughs> yes. It's, it's like the quirky. voice of the salmon. It's quirky in the right ways. How come when I use the, the pulse sensor, it literally stops? What literally stops? Oh, it's like it's picking up noise until you actually give it a bad syrup pulse. It stopped saying things. Oh, did you pop the card? Yes. Because oh. it's creepy. Oh. So I need to replace what's currently on the SD card. Yes, with something. Something that isn't just me think... saying creepy, the same creepy thing over and over again. Yeah. I like the Victorian erotica. 
can do that. Everyone in Japan is going to be really confused. Find, find Japanese erotica. <laughs> I can have my salmon speaking Japanese. Well, Japanese erotica. You come up. Oh, yeah. That would be kind of cool. Japanese erotica. If you run somewhere. Pretty much. In masterpieces of Japanese erotica. Can we convert them to speech to text? Bobka. Wow, it is really hard to get the SD card out of the reader. Is it? Yeah, it's like popped, but it's like... It like does not not want to come out of there. Really? Uh, somebody got it down. Really? That's... There you go. Like literally eating or like sensually tasting? Yeah, down between her legs, like slurping. Um, with his but, little eyes looking up at her. But octopi have beaks. You should look at this. Hang on. <laughs> sure. I don't care, go for it. Not like I have friends. Go for it. Okay, so the LED light doesn't, like, cut through this thing nearly as well as I was kind of hoping. It does in the first version, super nice. But this first version isn't very, doesn't fit anything in it, so it's a neat point. Plus I need a better way of mounting these things, because they're not gonna stay in place the way that they were intended to which is good because i needed to take them out anyway yeah. things that i've learned for the next version Yeah, it's just kind of like a book user. <laughs> Those are getting taped in. That's okay. Accept it. Hmm. 
gonna have to find a place to stick all of the excess wire. Soon there will be ones on this side. Blah. No. Bad. I guess I can plug this thing in fairly easily. It's like the one thing I did right. <laughs> Does there have to be an SD card in it for the uh, LED score? Uh, uh, if it doesn't play a card, it doesn't start up. Uh, I can probably change that. Sure. That was the default thing to do. Yeah, maybe tweak that. Deal. All right. Ah, <sighs> all right. It's almost going on two hours. Are you getting a sore throat and or cold as well? No. <laughs> However, I was shouting at a TV um, for the hockey game earlier today, so my throat is a little bit raw. Hopefully I'm not getting sick. That would be really bad. That would not make me happy. But um, no, I feel fine. I really hope I got all of the sickness out of my way this spring when I had literally everything like that I think was in the air ever in Las Vegas at the same time. Like, I think I was sick the whole month of March. It's like a month lost to me. <sighs> so hopefully I'm, I'm good. I'm like good on being sick. I've paid my sick dues for the season. Well, in lieu of putting the card back in there, I was going to show it, like, lighting up. Hmm. Do I want to try and jam that back in there? It's always a question. It's an important question. It just took me forever to get it out. Eh, fuck it. In the circumstance that the LEDs were lighting up, which they aren't. I can't pull it in or out very easily. It is a nightmare. Yeah, getting getting this little like cracker up in there is like right here where that shiny bit is is a not fun a not fun thing. All right. Well, let's see. <sighs> so I think the way that I had it in my sketch
given that my little window piece doesn't fall out, is that this would mount somewhere around here, which you can't really see because I have clothes on. But if I had a leotard on or something form fitting, it literally just sort of like hugs in between your thigh meat. And then you have like a little bit of a box in front, like right here. So you just see the front salmon-y bit with its happy little lines kind of like forming to your contours and pointing downwards. And then there's the circuit board in front. So if I just pull this out, we can see. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. So ideally, once all of this stuff is done, if I'm going to demo it in any capacity, I'll have probably a leotard on or something. Here, you can see me. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of black leotards and nude colored leotards to wear specifically for putting this stuff on and showing it in action. So the other thing that I didn't even really get to at all because I didn't have time, I was like too busy focused on the, the enclosure and the circuit board and getting the system to work in some capacity, um, is how this is going to mount to the leotard. Because this is just a floating like maxi pad at this point with a bunch of electronics inside of it. So this is going to have to attach to something and then that is going to be worn, like underwear or something. So I have to come up with a spandexy, like Spanx type thing that this is going to attach to or sew to. So that's the other thing that needs to get worked out. But again, that was a mountain I was gonna try and climb if I even got this prepared in a timely manner but seeing as i'm leaving in just two days and this is finally taking like final shape now it's probably not going to be a thing but um now that this is finished we can fuck around with the code and see if we can get the everything working a little bit better but this sensor isn't all that fantastic it works on Mark pretty decently, but um, the moment that I take it and try to hold it to any part of my hand or knuckle or whatever, it it doesn't register that I'm there, which is just more proof that I'm actually dead inside. <sighs> so I'm thinking I'm going to need to find a little bit better, probably more expensive sensor to use for this endeavor when I get back. Um, this was the lowest hanging fruit, so I figured I'd, like, get it just to bang out a proof of concept. And, um, it wor it, it affects the lights fine, but I, again, we can't really get it to affect the volume in a way that isn't terrifying. Um, so the volume right now doesn't actually scale to the, uh, heart rate. I think it's either, like, on or off, depending on what the heart rate is there's like a threshold that's determined and so long as it's below a certain below the threshold it's off and if it goes over the threshold then it's on and that's that but given how kind of finicky the sensor is and uh whether or not it's reading reading anything whether or not it's making like proper contact um there's a lot of like unpredictable noise bullshit right now which i don't want so I know there's ways to filter a lot of that out and work around that, but it's nothing that I think I'm going to smooth out like perfectly before I leave. Or that Mark is going to smooth out perfectly before I leave. Mark's yeah. my Mark's my code beast. Do you have any ideas on how to make this work better? What? The volume. The whole volume thing. Or make it change or Yeah. At this point it's really risky to start hacking code. The only thing that works is good for demoing. I would go with that. That's and a perfect concept. Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah, ultimately yes, but like right now, doing that is dangerous, and I have other stuff to do, and at some point I'm just going to be like, no, I can't help you. And then it won't work. So don't do that for yourself. <laughs> Here, right? I'll show this working.
Uh, oh, let me see that. <clears throat> Can you help me by making me a cat five table that goes from the heart to the family? Um, here you go. I need a table. The USB table? No, the cat five. Oh, the cat five. So there's this thing. It's kind of pretty. Yeah, I can't find any Japanese I got it. Really? Yeah, I couldn't find something in the Japanese, but like in that one story I can't find it in, in public domain. So like everybody wants forty five bucks for it. So I don't know if anyone's looking at the screen, but if you're not, you totally should. So this, this thing works or should work regardless. The one thing that I need in addition to the salmon in its like first pygmy form, um, like regardless of how well that works, it's going to plug into the bottom port on the backpack, which is that like bottommost hole right here. So these are like Cat5 plugs. So Mark's going to make me a special Cat5 cable that's going to poop out of this like thingy and then it's going to feed to the salmon that I just made. And that's just one system, like more like, I don't know, it's working kind of. It's like my proof of concept for this particular thing. And I just want to show this in its state is like a designed object doing what it's going to do, being powered by the main the main brain of the system. So that's what I wanted to have working by the time I left. So I kind of achieved my goal. Like it's not 100% perfect, but I mean nothing is. Um, this, however, did turn out exactly the way that I wanted it to. Like, this I am incredibly satisfied with for what it's worth. Um, I mean, there are, again, things that I'd probably change about this too, but for a first iteration, like, it kind of... Whatever it was that I scrawled down in a document, uh, like a Photoshop document with my tablet, like, two months ago, it kind of more or less took shape exactly into that thing. So I, like, pulled a thing out of my, like, sketch brain, into the, the reality. Oh god. Are you ready for it? Yes. You should crank Can the volume. I don't not from not that quiet. Hold on. Mark's Mark's being rude. Can they hear this? Hold on. Now the word passed between us. She glued her lips to mine, almost sucking my breath away and altogether seemed in such an agitated state. I was nearly frightened. Still, I felt only too pleased as she held my affair in her hand and slowly passed her fingers up and down, up and down, drawing back the force in each time. Somehow she gradually worked me into a position between her legs as we lay side by side. Then she commenced rubbing the nose of my machine in a moist soil and shifted her mouth in the silky air at the bottom of her stomach. One of her arms hung me around the waist. Presently, a soft whisper murmured, Percy, push yourself close to me. It's so nice, my darling. Okay, wait, bring it here. You need to, you yeah. need to, how would I record that? Should I just record it uh, with audio? I would just use the audio recorder pretend? off the speakers and then, Okay. or, or I can cat it to a wave file maybe, but I have to look that up. Do you, do you want to record it for me on QuickTime and then save it, save it as a wave file or send it now? to me as a, yeah. Um, yeah, we got to figure out how do I do this. If you send me the, the, I can do it on my machine if you want. Well, mm -hmm. I need to see on the Mac how do you take audio and put it into the Oh, I can do it. If you send me the MP3, I can do it because I have Audition. Remember? Oh, we in Audition? Yeah. So wait a minute. No, no, I don't have an MP3. I need to get it into a format. Can't you just record it with QuickTime? Like, the... Can you record what you put in your speaker? 
Well, you just hit record and it's it's going to play through your speaker and then it's going it to record it. No. What if addition would do that? It doesn't matter, it can be low tech. Alright, quick time. Alright. This is just gonna throb. Uh, quick time. Audio recording. Okay, things are getting weird here. Did you? Did any of you guys hear that? Like, could you hear the, the the erotic? Now the word passed between us. She glued her lips to mine, almost sucking my breath away, and altogether seemed in such an agitated state that I was nearly frightened. Still, I felt only too pleased as she held my fare in her hand and slowly passed her fingers up and down, up and down, drawing back the force each time. Somehow she gradually marked me into a position between her legs as we lay side by side. Then she commenced rubbing the nose of my machine in a moist sort of chin and hour in the silky air at the bottom of her stomach. One of her arms hugged me around the waist, and presently a soft whisper murmured, Percy, push yourself close to me. It's so nice, my darling. Can you take a file? Uh, yeah. Well, wasn't I talking over it? Alright, I didn't quite get it. Just, we'll make it better. Now, yeah, just uh, send it to me in Messenger, I'll do it. So I'm going to pop it on the SD card and show it doing. I'm going to show it over here. Okay. I guess I'm not getting pictures. Shit. Oh god. Mark, can you hand me the thing? The thing of what? The cord. You need a longer cord. Where is it? Oh, it was right over my shoulder the whole um, time. Do you have a longer cord? I don't know. You put a prize tomorrow. Probably not a bad idea. You need a longer black cord. It's a cake. I'm like a turtle with a heart on my back. I'm a turtle. Okay, so Mark sent me... Here, I'm gonna do this with my backpack on. It's gonna pulse on my back. Well, I take that horrible, like, like, erotica thing that he found on the, uh, in, like, whatever. I don't know where he found that from. But, uh, the, internet. the internets. I'm going to take his erotic test thing and I'm going to open it up in Audition. And I'm going to save it as a WAV file. And I'm going to put it on this tiny little SD card and I'm going to shove it back in the salmon. And then I'm going to run power to the salmon from the backpack. And then it should vomit out this. this like, did you hear the, the, the erotic? Not a word passed between us. She glued her lips to mine, almost sucking my breath away and altogether seemed in such an agitated state that I was nearly frightened. Still, I felt only too pleased as she held my affair in her hand and slowly passed her fingers up and down, up and down drawing back the foreskin each time. Somehow she gradually worked me into a position between her legs as we lay side by side. Then she commenced rubbing the nose of my machine in a moist sort of chink and bowered in the silky hair at the bottom of her stomach. One of her arms hugged me round the waist, and presently a soft whisper murmured, Percy, push yourself close to me. It's so nice, my darling. Percy. 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 Okay, more of that. Perfect, Mark. See, ask me, Jim Burke's safety.
You're good at things. No, the word pat. Okay. That's this is gonna be my next test wave. Not a word. Okay, here's what I'm looking at, guys. You guys deserve to see this. Here. Woo! Um, alright. So I'm going to save section as the wave. Alright. We're gonna save this as test wave. That looks correct. Alright. No. I already have a test wave. Alright, we'll make this one number two. And I'll move the other one. Okay, things are gonna get interesting. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna switch this so you, I mean, this is all you really need to see. Sorry it's so grainy. Alright, I'm gonna try and pop that onto the SD card. Um, okay. I'm gonna try and get this piped out of my salmon, because that'd be a really good note to end the stream on. Is whatever it was that you just heard uh, coming out of my uh, peripheral. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. She's she stroked by force. My machine. My dragging my whatever. That was funny. Uh okay, what was I doing? Okay, so that's saved. Um I have this tiny SD card. I have an SD card reader. Okie dokie. Alright, I'm pulling the, the baby SD card out. I can probably switch this down so you can see what I'm doing at this point. Oh man. Down we go. Is it, is it enough? Wow, it's so dark in here now. There. That's better. Um... I don't know, where did I drop it? Did I put it in? Okay, I did. Good. Pay attention to what you're doing, Sarah. Okay. My heart's still beating on my back. Okay, so I'm deleting that off of uh, the SD card, that little baby SD card. And I'm putting the new one on, which is... Not a word past. That one. <laughs> so that's copying over... Um, I'm not going to bother ejecting that because I'm terrible, and I'm going to shove this awkwardly into my crotch box again and I'm going to see if it performs. Okay, and heat sensor and FTDI cable. So the next step would be to have the heart power this thing. Okay, so this is got the power cable, and that is this guy. So I have to I have to take the juice box from my heart and then plug the salmon back in. Oh my god, that's all we're talking about. 
drive away and altogether seemed in such an agitated state that I was nearly frightened. Still, I felt only too pleased as she held my affair in her hand and slowly passed her fingers up and down, up and down, drawing back the force in each time. Somehow, into a position between her legs as we lay side by side, and I ate the hands rubbing the nose of my machine and a moist sword of chin empowered in the silky hair at the bottom of her stomach. One of her arms hung me round the waist, and presently a soft whisper murmured, Mercy, tell close to me, it's so nice, my darling. Not a word passed between us. Oh my she god. Her lips to mine, um, sucking my breath away. The volume knob, I can't get to it. There. Uh, easy, easy. I got it. He's a little screwed in the plastic poker. Her hand and slowly passed her fingers up and down, up and down, drawing back each time. Somehow she gradually worked me into a position between her legs as we lay side by side, and she commenced rubbing the nose of my machine and her voice. The pulse thing is really going off. Sorry. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> oh my god. What have I done? Um. Uh, I'm gonna look at the chat, because I haven't looked at the chat in a second. <clears throat> um. What? Need the yam can cook on relaxing and boning a chicken? What? The yam can cook on relaxing. I. Bleh. Then can cook on. I don't know. Fuck. Okay. All right. I need that cable. Um. I need a Cat Five too. FTDI. Doesn't seem like. Seems weird. This is the future, everybody. This is how men tell whether or not I am turned on. When they hear the erotic when, when they hear Percy, it's so nice. Does she say nice? Does it say nice? That's how you know. Dear fuck. I okay, I'm proud of this. It's moments like these when 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 I'm I don't even know. I don't know what to say. <sighs> it's moments like these when it doesn't seem like life's all that bad. There. Okay, I'll check messenger. So, okay, the next step um, is... Okay, so this thing this bank is only supposed to power the uh, backpack, or only supposed to power the backpack, but it's supposed to plug into the backpack and the, all the other things are supposed to draw power through the board on the backpack. So this is going to mount conceivably somewhere closer to this thing. Um, and I can just like unplug it and plug it back in. And then there's going to be a cable. Um, but wait, I need one that goes... Do I need to splice a USB cable and one of these together? 
Is that um, the deal? Um, that's no, that's a, that's replaces your FTDI cable. It's just power. You can use that in place of the FTDI cable. But I need. And you don't have to take that to Japan. With you. Take what? You need one of these, right? But I need to run that that to this. To one of those. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna make you that next. I'm gonna figure out what pins are what. That's the only. Like right now, right now, oh. it's gonna take an hour. Really? Yeah, because I don't know what pins are really on this thing. Oh, come here. I have to buzz them out. Oh. So I'm gonna need that pack in one of your connectors. What pack? Yeah. Why? Because I need to, to buzz out the connector. Oh. Twisted pair, they have wires. So oh. It's easier to just buzz it out and then hook up the two wires. Damn. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Well, all right, then that's going to happen next, but I'm probably not going to stick around and stream it then. I'm sorry. But the next thing is, the last thing that I need before I, I pack all this up is to have the cable that's half this and half um, the, uh, Cat5. So, or, you know, one end is this and the other end is the Cat5 you do. And then that will plug into my heart. Mark's gonna plug into my heart. Plug. Pick a plug. There's nine of them. Is that gonna be long enough? Uh, measure from my crotch to my, uh, <clears throat> something. You're putting it in the bottom of the crotch? Uh, yeah. So. Well, actually, the top is a, the okay. top is a FTDI, so that's like here. Okay, and it goes what, down and around? It's gonna go under my leg. Yeah. And then plug into the pad. Yeah. You're not tight or anything. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm gonna walk, so a little. That's probably good. Yeah. I'm gonna go get the pad off. Well, I can unplug it from the salmon. Like. It's too slack that you think you're gonna need anyway. Um, I mean, okay. it's just gonna hang down, so. I mean, maybe a little tiny. Look at how you think it should be. That's tight. Right? That's probably good. You know, relax a little bit. Well, if you bend over, maybe that's the worst case. That's probably good. But bend over as much as you can. Well, that's a good thing. Well, squat, and you get it under. Okay. Okay. It's a party! It's a party up in here. I love how my bangs decided to not be bangs anymore. They they totally decided to, to go back to being the way that they were before I did a bob. Which is like, kind of like this. Like chicken. There, that's rebellion right there. Oh well. Uh, here's one of those the boards that Matt, uh, Mark. I'm gonna call you Matt. For like the rest of the day. Um, Mark's connecting to. There's made this bumper board uh, that all of the little things on the inside of the heart route to. So like the heart has Molex on one end and then all the little wires do their little like toe thing and then they connect into the Cat5 which is the socket end of all those ports on the backpack. No. It's here. Is it extra? Yes. Yes. So it's Molex to Cat5 to FTDI. Is that how that works? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Art. Art control. Art. Uh, oh god. No. Wait. Well, that was the correct one. That's weird. Okay. I'm gonna check the thing now. How are you all doing, by the way? How is everyone- how is everyone's evening? 
I totally didn't take pictures again. Mark. Pictures. Me. Portrait pictures. What? That's how you relax a chicken. What? The kind of. Okay, don't check Facebook now, Sarah. I'm just like falling down a hole. Anyway, yes, I'm still streaming. I know. All right, two hours and 20 minutes. All the systems are working, kind of, mostly. They're like pretty much there. So this, this terrifying amalgamation has some horrible, horrible things inside of it now. I'll probably add more to them now that Mark and I know that that's a thing that can be. This thing's working. Like this I'm super happy with again. Like this turned out better than, better than it had business to Ah, uh, all right. Oh man. So before I start actually packing, like like putting all the stuff in my luggage, I'm probably going to um maybe tomorrow, maybe that will be like my my raptor picture. Um so I have to take I have other shit I need to do. I need to take I need a self-portrait. Not a self-portrait, but like a I need a profile bio biography artist biography picture um that isn't like the one that i've been using forever um which is probably a good thing because the old one's pretty old uh but that means i have to actually look presentable and like not make a dumb face so i have to do that before i leave um yeah and then i'll probably i'll probably romp around in this tomorrow like, I'm probably going to put on another leotard, leotard and then put all this stuff on my body in some capacity and then get footage and take pictures and then throw it all in my luggage. Because, again, like, I don't know if any of this is going to survive the trip to where I'm going. So uh, I'm going to probably document the fact that it actually existed before I take it with me, just in case, like, something terrible happens, because you never know. Um... Ooh. Brain fuck? Vi Gray says he just wrote a, a 1.5 kilobyte file in a programming language called Brain fuck. Are you joking or are you serious? Because I don't know what you kids these days are naming your programming languages. Right, Mark? I'm, ki I'm joking. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I remember someone I know has a makes a, a big Die, die, dice, die. It's a D20. Our friend, our friend Crux makes a giant trophy for DEF CON every year. That's a, it's a big steel D20 and it has programming languages on it. And um, I know one of them is one that some of the people who compete in the contest mm -hmm. made. Um, Frank. 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 They made it just. They made their own language just for. Just for his contest. Because that's funny. And then from that, like, when I asked, I was like, what's Frank? And they're like, oh, we made it up. I'm like, oh. Yeah, you can, you can do that. <laughs> okay. But brain fuck. Oh, you know Python. Oh. Okay. That's a bye. I learned how to program Python earlier this year, and it was like, a brain fuck. Yes. So you're, he says he's serious. It's an actual language. That's I'll have to look that up. Why would someone in their right mind elect to use a language called brain fuck? Just curious. I don't know. I don't know anything. Or Python. Chickens. Mark's making my cable. 
So yeah. What else can I work on? There are only eight characters in the programming language. Everything else is considered a comment. What? That just sounds like silliness. Square brackets, angle brackets, plus, minuses, periods, comma, that's it. Wait. Square, angle, plus, minus, period, comma. No. Why? Why? How can you, can you write anything in that? Isn't that basically like, like flipping bits, like the bit? I don't know. Like if I, if I had to write code by actually typing what I wanted the things to do, I would still fuck it up. Like if I had to literally enter text into a text field and say like, I want this thing to do this in this way and then this, I would probably still fail at programming my own shit. So I don't know how you guys can get anything done with your crazy like eight character programming languages called brain fuck or mind fuck or whatever. To work with than almost all assembly languages. That was hard. Mark knows assembly, right? Yeah, that in school. Let me touch it says V80. He says his current project is an NES ROM that is also an HTML file that is also a brain fuck program. Oh my god. Wow. So you're just like basically a code beast. That's what you are, Vigre. You're a code beast. Like I I tip my hat to you. If he does. Does he? Yes. Okay. I just haven't I'm I don't think we've ever met at DEF CON. Ever, ever. Or do you go to DEF CON? You've mentioned that you have DEF CON affiliation in the past, although I, that doesn't necessarily mean that you've been to DEF CON before. I'm just assuming that you have, because I assume everyone's been to everything, which is probably bad. I don't know. I was going to end this a minute ago, but now I'm interested in chatting. I guess we can do that in Discord. Is everybody in? I don't know. Who, who the hell's even watching anymore? It's been it's been days. I've been streaming for days. Oh, cool. There's like a few of you guys left. Thank you for keeping me company. I don't know. You guys all have the Discord link, don't you? If not, here. Let me let me post it. Invite people. Copy. And then paste. There. Come hang out with us. I mean, it's slow sometimes because we're all busy doing stuff and Maker Faire is going on right now, but I don't know. We like sharing all of our projects that we're working on. Cool people hanging out, talking about making stuff and taking over the world with robots. Robots that whisper to your, your croissant area with strange erotica. That was a really good idea. The text the text to speech thing is kind of saving the day given my current situation. So whoever suggested that, like if you're out there and you happen to see this, thank you for mentioning that. Cause I was seriously going to just force everyone to like drink and say things, and this is probably a way better, more viable, more funny solution to the crotch whispering. So yeah, I guess to, to wrap this up, because I should probably move down my list and start checking stuff off. Um, this is the thing that I assembled today. Uh, twice. But this time it looks more or less like it's going to stay this way. This thing could probably be a little bit wider, so I'll make another one. But um, it's all in one piece. Uh, Definitely room for improvement when I make the next uh, board and the next housing. The uh, the everything fits though, so I mean, given that I didn't didn't plan a lot of this and was flying by the seat of my pants, it all fits in one housing. Um, it doesn't chafe my thighs. The PC board fits in there. Did you do it? 
Oh shit. Oh wow, I'm gonna get my sign off. Oh he's he's got the he's got the tendrils out. Check for five. You totally need to see Mark when five he Five volts. When he has his tendrils out. That appears to be correct. Should I plug it in? You can plug your salmon into that. Okay, so the backpack has power running to it. And then I'm going to plug. Is the green ground? Yeah, the green is the black wire. Yeah, mm -hmm. one. Okay, so. Whatever you. All right, guys. We should hear terrifying voices when I plug this in. Now the word pass between us. She glued her lips to mine, almost sucking my breath away, and altogether seemed in such an agitated state that I was nearly frightened. Still, I felt only too pleased. As she held my affair in her hand and slowly passed her fingers up and down, up and down, drawing back the force in each time. <laughs> Somehow she gradually worked me to a position between her legs as we lay side by side. Oh, it's got a pulse. Ooh, someone's excited. Is like, <laughs> that's it. That is the gloss on the paint. <laughs> that was Thank you for hanging out with us this afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it. Happy hour. Thank you for hanging out with us during happy hour. Thank you, Mark, for, for helping me do the things as you always do. I love you. I love you. And, and thank you again. I'm going to go back and forth thanking you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me while I figured all of this out and it came to a head. Um, so yeah, uh, again, this got assembled. This was working. Um, and Mark just made me this weird kind of like FTDI to Cat5 cable that, um, if you plug it in the bottom port? Yeah. Is it in the bottom port? No. You can officially jack into my heart. Are you coming into the crotch here? Yeah. Oh, there. Um. Tonight. Okay. So that's jacked into the um, bottom port right here. Oh God! Model Cheers. that salmon. Model that shit. Green. Now the word passed between us. She glued her lips to mine, almost sucking my breath away and altogether seemed in such an agitated state that I was nearly frightened. Still, I felt only too pleased as she held my fear in her hand and slowly passed her fingers up and down, up and down, drawing back the force each time. So now she gradually marked me into a position between her legs as we lay side by Okay. They're gonna love you in Japan. High okay. five. Okay. Um all right guys. I, for real this time. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me company. 
everything looks good. I feel happy. I, I feel a lot less stressed out about everything now that it's like in one piece. But um, yeah. Thank you for keeping me company again, and thank you, Mark, for helping me make all of my wires connect. You're welcome. <laughs> it's so nice. It's so nice. It's up and down. Up and down. <laughs> up and down. Touch my, my machine. <laughs> touch my machine. All right. I'll, until next time, I don't know, keep making awesome stuff, and thank you for watching. And enjoy the rest of your evening, and eat dinner. We're going to go eat dinner. I'll see ya. <laughs>